Here we have an MSI RTX 4090 Supreme video card that came in for repair. And the problem is a damaged 12 VHPWR connector. Just a minute. Uh, pick up or drop off? No, uh, I guess drop off. What's wrong? Um, no, I'm trying to w I tried to wipe it without knowing what I was doing. And it's now coming up uh, support. Mac something blah blah blah. So. Now I do not see anything on the screen. Is that normal? Uh, no. Okay. Yes. All right, Mark, you're all set. Great. Thank you, man. Take, Take care. Bye bye. All right. So we have an MSI RTX 4090 Supreme that came in for repair. The problem is a burnt connector. What's new with 4090s, right? We're going to have to replace the connector. Let's go ahead and do it. And we also have another card that came in today, also a 4090, but this one has a different issue. The problem is a damaged HDMI connector. Maybe I'll do this in another video. But for now, Big Boss is waiting for this one. It's an expedited repair, so we have to do it today. So as usual, for the repair, we're going to be using low melt solder. The board is very thick, a lot of layers. If we apply hot air and try to remove that connector, it's almost impossible. Unless you point hot air on the board for 5-10 minutes, you're going to end up damaging the board, warping the board, knocking components off. The board is going to get stressed from all that heat. So what we do is we use something called low melt solder. It melts at a low temperature, hence the name low melt solder. We mix it with unleaded that's already on the board. And the combination is a lower temperature. It takes less hot air to remove that connector. Now the first thing I want to do is quickly preheat the board. And we're not going to use a preheater, but we're going to use our hot air gun hot air is a lot quicker than a preheater I do have a preheater but if I want to use it it's gonna take like 20 minutes for that board for the whole board to heat up not just this one area so I'm gonna preheat for maybe 30 seconds one minute then we're gonna apply low melt solder and that's how we do it I've done so many of those I developed a pattern on what to do to get the job done quick but dealing with connectors on 4090s I would not say it's an easy job because of the thermal mass on that board. It takes a lot of heat to work with this connector. All right. And this is the new Northridge Fix microscope. I'm currently using the latest and greatest Northridge Chase microscope. I did mention maybe two weeks ago that we got those scopes in stock. And just look at the quality. Edge to edge sharpness. You do not have a sharp image in the center and then blurry image on the sides. No. Edge to edge clarity. And you'll see the quality as we work with this card. Let's go ahead and apply low melt solder. And we need our fume extractor. Okay, so a lot of smoke. But that's what the fume extractor is for. If you're on the same type of business, you must have a fume extractor, it's not an option. 
Health is number one. If you do not already have a fume extractor, you do not already have a microscope, you do not have any of the tools that we are using on our bench here, we carry and sell all those tools. Just log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. For any one of you who have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. We carry everything from soldering stations, hot air station, thermal camera, microscope, articulating arm for the microscope, anti-glare light, ring light, tweezers, flux, braid wig, everything. One-stop shop. We sell the tools not for the sake of selling and making money, that's part of it, but we work with those tools. You do not need to do your research. I've done that for you. Right, so I'm soaking the pins with low melt solder. Hey, what's up, man? What's good? Yeah. No, I need a vacation from the vacation. <laughs> All right, so now that we applied low melt solder, we can apply hot air. And we can use the soldering iron at the same time to just quickly go over those pins. And I can push down on the pins. Okay, I'm pushing down on the pins. And that connector is going to fall from the other side. Just making sure all the pins got their proper dose of low melt solder. Push, push, push. Just like a woman delivering a baby. You have to push until you get that thing out. Right here, out. And while the board is hot, I'm going to grab the Northridge Fix NF dot sucker. We do not have this in stock as of current. What can you do? But I cannot put this under the microscope, so I'm going to have to do it off camera. Point hot air. Amazing. So I'm just sucking solder from the holes while applying hot air. Did we get all the holes? We did, except for... Actually, we did. Yeah, every single one. Awesome. Awesome. Just look at the clarity on this microscope. I cannot help but keep mentioning the quality and the clarity. One of the best microscopes you will ever get your hands on. Just compare. It's not all talk. You're a smart person. Just go on YouTube. Look at other content creators. And not to put anybody down. But just compare the quality, and it's obvious. I'm going to go over this microscope later this week, all the features. But to quickly brush on an awesome feature, you have something called a measuring tool. So I can measure the size of this hole, or maybe I want to measure a certain component. I'm confused what that component is. Maybe I need to buy this switch. And that switch comes in many sizes. I can measure. I can get the measuring tool, go from here to here, and then it will tell me the size of that switch. I can change the red color, make it something else. Or I can do something called a digital zoom where I can point my mouse anywhere I want on that board and I see a magnified digital image or digital zoom of that one area. Like right now, I'm pointing the mouse on that one pin on the switch. Okay? It's very useful 
if you want to see a magnified image on the go. You do not have to zoom in with the optical lens, zoom in and zoom out. As you know, this is an optical microscope. A lot of people call it digital because it plugs into an HDMI connector, but this is an optical lens, so you get the best possible image quality. The window we have down on the bottom, it's digital zoom. And I can control the zoom of that window down on the bottom. Or if I do not want it, I just get rid of it. And we just continue working on this board. I do not want to go over all the details right now. But I will talk about every single feature on this microscope in the upcoming video, maybe later this week. But for now, we clean the holes, we remove the connector, and it's time to solder another connector. Oh, connector? Yes. <laughs> okay, so another 4090 burnt connector. Let's check this one out. What's new? Right? So we have the 4090 HDMI connector and we also have another burnt connector. But we need to finish what we are working on right now. Oh, this is the cable mod, 12VH. Uh, why did the customer mail this along with the card? Oh, okay, so the customer used a 90 degree adapter, he mailed it over along with the card, with the second card that we got. And the adapter is burnt. The adapter itself, look at this. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter how it burned, but I would advise against 90 degree adapters of any kind, any brand. And I would also advise against third-party cables, unless you lost your power cable for the GPU and you want another one, make sure you do your research and know which cable you are buying. So I have a new connector here. That's a brand new connector. I'm holding the connector from the bottom. And one thing I need to do is I need to check if those pins are all the way through the hole. They may look like they are through the hole, but maybe the pin is not making its way all the way. So I just double check. And this one, perfect. I just want to secure that connector so I can let go from the bottom. Okay, and we should be good. Now I can let go of that connector. A lot of reflection, a lot of glare, right? So what do we do in this case? I always mention it. We use the anti-glare light. The past week, we were out of stock on the anti-glare light, but we had a shipment on the way. And ta-da, the all new Northridge Fix anti-glare light. I'm gonna go over it later this week. One of the most amazing things that you can have for your microscope, whether you are working on motherboards or coins or whatever the case may be, whatever you use the microscope for, the anti-glare light is a game changer. And we have perfected this anti-glare light. And I want to show you the difference between the ring light, which we currently have, which has its own use. I'll go over it when I discuss the anti-glare light. And I want to show you what happens when we put the anti-glare light on. Look at this. Look at this. Again, no anti-glare light, anti-glare light. You can actually see the brown color of the board. You can see the lines. If we turn the anti-glare light off, the board looks black because of the flux, because of the reflections, because of the glare. And anti-glare light on. What more do you want? We can see everything in detail. And let's go ahead and finish up the job. 
so we can do the other two 4090s that I have on my bench. I just came back from vacation and I have piles of video cards and laptops that we need to get done. I also have an aircraft motherboard that came in for repair and we have two dentist chair motherboards that came in for repair. Those chairs are expensive, five to $20,000. So hopefully we can help out the customer. Right, and we are done. And tell me, this is not better than factory. Go ahead, leave it in the comments. Tell me this is not better than factory. Or tell me it's better than factory. Awesome. Beautiful. Just clean any residue of flux. And let's take a look at the connector from the top and look at how solder made its way all the way to the top. Awesome, amazing. And if you look at the connector, the connector is flush with the board. I'm gonna hand the board over to Big Bus to reassemble and test, make sure everything is good we'll invoice and mail it back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.